Welcome to another unboxing and assembly video, my friends. It's a cheesy it a gaming chair. All right, so we got some instructions on top here. Looks like we have a little arm there. All right, here's another little arm over here. Oh, nice like little leather looking quality there. We've got a little glove here. And uh, looks like our five little um, parts for the bottom there. I didn't want to come out of there. Not sure what's the problem here. Okay, there we go. There's one. So these are the little, everything wrapped up pretty good here, actually. So these are the little metal parts for the bottom of the chair. Here we have our uh, RGB uh, lighting and a little um, remote there. All right, here's the little five part of the chair. That's, that's solid metal there. Okay, let's remove this. Okay, you wanna be really careful with this that you don't push the button, this lever beforehand, I think, on this one. So it doesn't pop out of place because it's a lot of torque there. Okay. All right, there's the back of the chair. That looks actually super cool. Um, Take this off of here. This tape goes all the way around here. Just take that off, I guess, if we can. Check that out. Whew. That looks pretty nice. Right there, set that thing right there. Put our trash in here. Okay, what else we got going on here? Check this out, little, little pillow thing. That as well, that is nice and soft. Little back support or something there. And another little pillow here. Just a bunch of them. That little guy, that's cool. Okay, looks like we've got some hardware here in this box. <clears throat> All right. Um, pull these out. So here's our, uh, looks like our uh, piston here for raising the chair up and down. And then we got our wheels there. All right, some covers some screws and whatnot. Okay, that can go in there as well. And we have this uh, bottom portion of the chair right here, the seat portion. So this one you wanna be careful not to uh, get these uh, pressed Don't pull this lever because these are like super, um, super um, sp strong spring on there. So you don't want to get hurt. That's a caution on that. Okay, so there's the chair there. One's down already. Okay, because that's this one's got the spring attached. And that's it, my friends, for the box here. Put everything back in here. And uh, got one glove. One glove. Okay. So let's put this uh, together, shall we? Doesn't look like it's gonna be uh, too difficult here. Um, all right. Step one is we take our 
this metal piece here and we're going to attach these legs onto here so we take our little plastic part off there and pretty much just put these all right on there like that one two three four and five okay there's those and then turn the base cover seat upside down then attach the chrome base cover what's going to attach these um okay so it's these black ones here i'm just going to screw in here and probably i can get most of these just get them started by hand there we go and while i'm doing that get another one going hopefully all right get in there there we go all right so you might have to push it in a little bit so your holes line up there and once they are we can just keep keep going around here get them all hooked up all right there's that one there and let's go over here push that on there we go okay get in there there we are and you get these other ones going might still have to push in a little bit to get those lined up I have this little rubber part here that's kind of pushing them out so once you get them all lined up nicely and then you can screw that in okay seems to be pretty solid for these screws to hold it in there two for each one pretty solid metal and now that i got them all in there i'm just going to hand tighten all these down just work my way around if i had my impact driver i would have been done already so if you want to use that probably wouldn't be a bad idea but we're going pretty quick here because i can do two at once with one in each hand here okay i'm just going to take my allen key now and we're just going to tighten these down the rest of the way there we go there we go there we are nice and snug these are metal so you don't really have to worry about over tightening i wouldn't think as you would if you were dealing with wood or something like that so just kind of going to go around as we go okay there we are okay Okay, I think we reached the uh, end there, so that's done. Now it says after pressing the casters in there. Okay, so these wheels are going to go in there. So these uh, should just be able to press them straight in here. There we go. Might take a little bit of elbow grease here. There we go. I'll just get my palm over the top here and then make sure it goes straight in. Don't get your fingers pinched in between there though. Okay, there we go. And one more. Okay, now we can flip this over. Pressing the casters and the holes at the base of it, insert the lift into the center hole. Here's our little lift.
it's just going to go in there like that. Align the seat plate over the pre-drilled holes. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. All right, so here's this. And we just need to figure out which way this is going to go. So if it goes this way, okay, so it says the front of the chair. So the front of the chair is here and we want, okay. Yeah. It has the front. There's a thing on the front that says front right here and that's going right there. Okay. And then align the seat holes to make sure the plate of the seat is facing the front, attach the seat plate to the using the four. M820 bolts. Okay. All right, so we have a couple of these that are longer and a couple that are shorter. So there's four of these long ones and the rest are short. So these are the M820s are the short ones, M825s are the longer. So it says to use the M820s. So it says to use the shorter ones here. So that's what we'll do. And these obviously, we'll just tighten with our hands. So the shorter ones. And before we tighten them down all the way, just make sure you can get them all in there. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and tighten those down. Okay, there's one. Okay, so there we are. I like to tighten them with the top part and then finish them off with the, the longer hand to get a little bit more tor torque on there. Okay, there we are. All right, give a little bit more of a turn here. That's tight. That's tight. Okay, one more. All right, that's on there good. And now the M820s. So the same ones for these. Uh, let's see, front is going to be this way. So the front of this goes like this. So I'm just gonna lean this up like that. And the front of the chair goes right here. And these again are the shorter ones. But you want the arm of the chair like going towards the front there. Okay, well, ah, stop moving around on me. Here's where having my impact driver would be pretty helpful. Okay, got that one in. Okay, there we go. And once again, these are the shorter ones. Okay, there we 
go. Okay, there we are. Okay, and we got that one in, and now we can go with this one on this side here. Just gently screw that in there. It's a lot easier right there than that other one. Okay, and then this one might have a little bit of leather stuff in the way. Just kind of work your way around that. And then we'll just tighten it down with a little portion there. Just like that. And then tighten it up. It's gonna be an armrest, so you want them pretty, pretty tight on there. There we are. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Alrighty, so align the pre drill holes under both sides of the back rest of the iron holes. Okay, put those in there. Cover that up. So I think I'm just gonna put this on there first, maybe. Are we supposed to take that plastic part off or no? I don't know. Perhaps we're supposed to take this plastic cap off first think there we go fits a little better all right and now this goes on there all right so we got one plug in here on this side. I don't see the other plug in though plug in here. All right, so we're just gonna slide this right here. Be careful not to damage anything. And these long ones are going onto here. Over on this side. So we have holes over here. As far as I know, these just go in there like this. Okay, I'm just gonna hand tighten these for now. Oops, there we go. over to the other side here and just kind of support your chair easy does it get that last one in there all right now we can tighten it up Almost done here. There we go. Okay. Now we have these little covers here. It's going to go over there just like that. And we have these little um, screws here. And those go through and go right into the little hole there. All right, so the easiest way would probably be to put this 
on there first. Make sure your hole lines up there like that and then put it in there. Okay, there we go. Nice clean look there. Okay, and then the same on this side. Okay, there's the hole, fits perfectly. Just kind of tighten that down on there. Okay, all right, well, we have a hook up here and a hook up here. So, I'll hook up this the back here. Just like this. And these can only go one way, so make sure those are good. Then we have our little uh, release here. Oh, so the back portion hooks up to batteries if we want. All right, let's uh, do not touch the backrest and climb lever. So, Uh oh battery requirement p or cr 23 volt one pc included pocket under the seat where you can store the power bank okay i did not see any power bank thing where I could put that. Oops, one thing I did forget to do though is uh, take this off. Hopefully I can get this out of here. There we are. I had this little, uh, this portion to go over that. There we go, and then I put that back in there. Okay, there we are. And there we have it. Pretty sweet little uh, chair here. It says there's a pocket under here that I can put. All right, it says battery required, battery requirement, CR20, 2530, plus one PC included, seat cushion luminous interface. Um, and it says there's a pocket under the seat where you can store the power bank. I'm just not seeing any pocket here. Unless there's a little thing here somewhere. Um, don't see a battery pack either, so. That's all right. There's a zipper here. I don't know if there's a battery pack in the zipper portion. We have these two guys too. But I don't feel any, uh, like a battery in there or anything. I don't think there was any batteries that I saw. So it was just a USB thing here. Maybe that can just plug into the wall or something. We'll check that out. But we do have the little cushions here. So I think like this can go up here. Right up in here, that's kind of cool if we want it there. Definitely a cool looking chair though. Like that, boom. And then I think we can put this, where would this go? Oh, here's a little pocket. Here's a pocket here. So it says you can put the power bank in there. Uh, 
Okay, so there's the pocket. We found the pocket, just no, uh, no power bank thing that I can tell. Can't tell. Anyways, okay. So maybe this is like lumbar support. So a pretty sweet little chair here. N is what? So we have the modes, monochrome. Anyways, let's go set this up, see what it looks like in my uh, in my room here. So this is um, for uh, children, I think a children's gaming chair, but this can uh, recline. Oh, it goes pretty far back. Am I falling? No, okay. And then comes back up. So yeah, nice little chair here. Let's go plug it in and uh, see how it looks there. All right, well, that's actually pretty, pretty sweet. Um, that looks cool, uh, I gotta admit. So there's auto, you can make it brighter or dimmer. Um, so just a ton of different things. Change whatever color you want on this thing. Um, dimmer. Oh, cool, look at that. That is pretty sweet, okay. Uh, got the little things going around and stacking up on there. Lights going around chasing each other around. I get slower. Slow them down if you want to, go faster. Different modes. Just a ton of different ones actually. So pretty sick looking actually. Well, that's um, pretty neat. <laughs> it's actually a comfortable chair as well. Um, oh no, I just did my thing there. So if you had a little battery pack, we could hook it in there. Um, I think I have a like one that I could hook up and just throw it in there and that'd be cool because it would spin around and pull out the cord like I just did. But pretty sweet gaming chair here, my friends. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day. I'll see you next time. Okay, friends. Well, this is a pretty neat uh, gaming chair. Obviously, going with uh, your gaming uh, solutions there. Have your computer, your PC, all that. A lot of RGB stuff. I have uh, mouse pads, RGB. My computer is, my mouse, my keyboard, everything. So this kind of matches that. Really cool lights on here, I think. Um, yeah, let everyone be able to appreciate it. Uh, looks uh, nice. It's it's comfortable. The stitching, it's just a nice little comfortable chair. Hey, even here, where it has the lights here, it's still like a mesh, like a kind of a squishy and everything right here. So I would think that that would be like like a plastic there or something, but it's basically just a see-through um, material. But it's actually still comfortable, like the chair is. So. My friends, thanks for watching this video. Uh, hope it was useful. You guys have a great day and I'll see you next time.